Hollywood has lined up plenty of high-profile horror projects in 2018, and no surprise, most of the best ones are slated to hit theaters right around Halloween. From jungle predators to freaky nuns, the future looks very dark indeed, in the best possible way. Here are all the horror movies that'll blow you away this Halloween season. Slenderman Lovers of creepy internet memes have a pretty good idea of what to expect with this upcoming horror film. The Slenderman has stalked the web since 2009, when a Photoshop contest produced a picture of the tall, thin, faceless stalker of hapless children. The forum poster who made the image even has a writing credit on the film, a development he probably didn't expect when he set out to freak people out with his Photoshop skills. Then that's what I will say, unless Slenderman commands me to say something else. The film's plot involves teen girls performing rituals related to the Slenderman and stars Joey King and Jazz Sinclair. Sony and Screen Gems have slated Slenderman for release on August 24. Cadaver Audiences may know Shea Mitchell best from her role on TV's Pretty Little Liars, but this Halloween season, the Canadian actress is making the jump to horror with Cadaver. Mitchell stars as a morgue technician and disgraced former cop with a drug problem, whose late-night shifts at the morgue take a turn for the sinister when she receives a badly brutalized body. Veteran Dutch director Diederik van Royen makes his Hollywood debut with this feature. Although Cadaver has wrapped principal photography, audiences will have to wait until August 24th to get a look. The Little Stranger Writer-director Lenny Abramson spent several years quietly making a name for himself in his native Ireland before making a huge splash with the 2015 international production Room. Despite receiving only a limited release in the U.S., Room was nominated for a slew of awards and snagged a Best Actress Oscar for lead Brie Larson. For his follow-up project, Abramson has taken on an adaptation of the well-received 2009 novel The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters, a film which took about 10 seconds to get snapped up by Focus Features for worldwide distribution after going into production in summer 2017. The post-World War II ghost story boasts a strong cast, which includes Donal Gleason, Ruth Wilson, and Will Poulter. The Little Stranger is slated for release on August 31st. The Nun The series that New Line is now officially calling The Conjuring Universe is getting another spin-off this Halloween season. The franchise scored yet another box office hit with Annabelle Creation, a pre-prequel exploring the origins of the sinister doll from The Conjuring, pushing the series' worldwide box office take up over the $1 billion mark. Hitting those kinds of numbers can only ensure plenty more films in the pipeline. And the first up is The Nun, which will add some backstory to one of Conjuring 2's most terrifying characters. American Horror Stories, Thaisa Farmiga, the younger sister of main Conjuring series star Vera Farmiga, has been cast in the lead with Bonnie Ahrens reprising her role as the demonic nun Valak. Creatively, the spin-off appears to be in good hands. Annabelle and Annabelle Creation screenwriter Gary Dauberman penned the script, and Corin Hardy has been tapped to direct. Hardy used practical effects whenever possible on the shoot, portions of which took place on location in Romania and Transylvania. He told Entertainment Weekly, I always want to say, let's do everything as much as we possibly can for real, including in-camera stunts, effects, and then use the CGI to be a beautiful, original, invisible tool. The Nun will return to scare your pants off on September 7, 2018. Slaughterhouse Rules Horror comedy is notoriously difficult to pull off, but if any filmmakers have earned the benefit of the doubt, it's Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Their 2005 classic, Shaun of the Dead, remains a sterling example of the genre, and Slaughterhouse Rules promises to deliver shocks and laughs in equal measure. The first effort from the pair's new stolen picture banner takes place in a British boarding school that becomes a bloody battleground when a mysterious sinkhole appears at a nearby fracking site, unleashing unspeakable horror. With Peg and Frost serving as producers, the film is certainly in good hands. Writer-director Crispian Mills also directed Peg in the 2012 horror comedy A Fantastic Fear of Everything. The film is backed by Sony Pictures, which should ensure a fairly wide release when it hits theaters on September 7th. The Predator Attempts to reinvigorate the Predator franchise have not historically fared well. The Alien vs. Predator mashup series failed to do justice to either franchise, and the 2010 sequel, Predators, garnered mixed reviews. But the forthcoming sequel, The Predator, appears to be in very good hands. Shane Black will direct from a script he co-wrote with Fred Decker, 
The two previously collaborated on 1987's The Monster Squad. Featured in the cast are Keegan-Michael Key, Olivia Munn, and Jacob Tremblay, who is apparently really getting into the role. Jacob. Get to the chopper! We have to get down the aisle! Go! Down! <laughs> And if all of this isn't enough to get fans excited, then maybe the words of 20th Century Fox CEO Stacy Snyder will do the trick. She said, We've got a Predator film coming out that is unexpected and utterly fresh. From the first page, it didn't read like a Predator film. The Predator sneaks into theaters on September 14th. The house with a clock in its walls. In this upcoming film, a 10-year-old boy moves in with an eccentric uncle, only to find his house full of secret passageways and strange goings-on. It turns out that his uncle is a warlock, a witch lives next door, and the house is a conduit for weird black magic rituals. You've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. The House with a Clock in Its Walls is an adaptation of the 1973 gothic horror novel of the same name, and there's already some serious talent on board. Notorious horror filmmaker Eli Roth will direct a cast that includes Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. With its strong fantasy horror vibe, this movie is bound to be a unique addition to the 2018 Halloween season. Find out when it premieres on September 21st. Hellfest This upcoming horror movie is set in a Halloween-themed amusement park where a psycho slasher decides to have a little holiday fun of his own. Gregory Plotkin, editor of Happy Death Day and Get Out, has taken over as director, and Amy Forsyth, Rain Edwards, and Bex Taylor Klaus have joined the cast. Expectations are high for this one, with former James Cameron partner and Walking Dead producer Gail Ann Hurd also involved. CBS Films president Terry Press has been championing the film for years, believing it has the potential to start a new purge like horror franchise. You can judge for yourself when Hellfest debuts on September 28, 2018. Something in the Dark This tech-based thriller has a unique premise. A blind woman has her sight restored by a pair of high-tech eyeglasses. Unfortunately, her vision may turn out to be a little better than she bargained for. The glasses apparently let her see ghosts, and she can't tell the difference between the ghouls and the living. Even worse, she begins to suspect that a lurking entity she keeps glimpsing might be coming for her. The film's website states that it will contain no dialogue, with the goal of creating a more involving and creepy experience which plays exactly the same to any audience, regardless of what language they speak. In other words, there is literally not a single word spoken throughout the entire film. The first feature for visual effects artist turned debuting writer-director Steven Aguilera, Something in the Dark will definitely be a unique experience. It's currently stated for release on October 15, 2018. Halloween Remakes and reboots of classic horror franchises haven't exactly been cinematic gold in recent years. With yet another Nightmare reboot struggling to get off the ground, and a planned second Friday the 13th reimagining still up in the air, fans could be forgiven for not getting too excited about the prospect of a new Halloween. But they should be. Eastbound and Down star Danny McBride and producer David Gordon Green came together to work on the concept for the new film, which they pitched directly to original writer-co-director John Carpenter. Carpenter's reaction, posted to his Facebook page, was enough to get any fan's heart racing. David and Danny both came to my office recently with Jason Blum and shared their vision for the new movie and, wow, they get it. I think you're gonna dig it. He also told CBS that the new movie would essentially retcon everything after Halloween 2. It's pretending the other sequels didn't happen. McBride echoed that idea, saying, it's going to continue the story of Michael Myers in a really grounded way. As for our mythology, we're focusing mainly on the first two movies and what that sets up. Jamie Lee Curtis and Nick Castle, the original Michael Myers, are reprising their roles from the 1978 film. Miramax will release Halloween on October 19, 2018, just in time for the scariest night of the year. Overlord from J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot production company, Overlord is a World War II set horror flick about a group of American soldiers who make a horrifying discovery in a Nazi-occupied village. Since this is a Bad Robot production, there's been a lot of speculation that Overlord may be yet another stealth entry in the Cloverfield universe, a theory which was apparently confirmed. How will it tie into the franchise? We can all find out when Overlord debuts in theaters on October 26th. Thanks for watching. 
click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too. 